Welcome to Capacity TV. HUC Global Communications and Vion Wholesale Services have just announced a global partnership and I've got Ravi and Carsten to talk to me about it today. Welcome both of you. Thank you. Can you tell Thank me you. what the partnership is and what its scope? Uh, Carsten, can you go first? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Vion Wholesale Services is centralizing all the wholesale activities of our group. We started a couple of years ago with roaming and now we're centralizing voice services and also data services. Part of our mission is also to look for more capabilities. How can we expand our reach? And with HGC and Ravi's team, we found a perfect partner for this. The Vion, just to make it clear, is a, is a mo global mobile operator. You've got operations around the world, haven't you? Yeah, we've got operations in, in 10 opcos, so for example, Pakistan, Russia, Ukraine, and a few more. But the interesting thing is between HGC and Vion, that uh, we are not overlapping, right? So we can put our capabilities together and this will give us a great advantage. Yes. And what's HGC's contribution? You're based in Hong Kong, but you're a global company. Yeah, we have presence in over 21 uh, countries. We have uh, offices. Um, of course, our history, we started off in Asia, but now we are well represented globally and with a lot of platforms and services. And it's a perfect fit uh, with uh, Vion and VWS. This relationship has actually uh, has been quite a number of years. As uh, what rightfully uh, Carsten mentioned, we started off on the roaming and then we went on to corporate and now we are also working together on the wholesale. Now wholesale is opens up a, a new avenue in terms of collaboration of platforms. As you know now, there's no carrier in the world that can say that I have presence globally and well covered. You need to have uh, partnerships and for us it was a good fit. Uh, our demand for our clients going into the footprint of uh, Vion is growing, uh, as in the uh, Russia and uh, some of the leading countries. And in return, uh, we also see a big uh, explosion of growth uh, in the Asia and in the Middle East. So for us to collaborate, to put our networks together, to put our data centers together, to put our uh, Ethernet services together is key. So we can get the scale of uh, reach for our end customers. So what's the nature of the partnership? Are you going to market together or are you each offering each other services? Actually, we've started last year with a great cooperation on the B2B side. Yeah. So our B2B teams are working together, That's for joining forces for enterprises, right. right? And what we do now is extend these capabilities towards wholesale. Usually it's the other way around, right? Interestingly, yeah. Yeah. we've started on the enterprise yeah. side and now, now we're extending it obviously to the wholesale side. But for example, this will enable us together yeah. to have coverage in 140 countries, which is quite amazing. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And, and HUC, you will be going to market via Vion as well for your customers. Absolutely, you? absolutely. Yeah. So as what Carsten mentioned, you know, to achieve B2B uh, cooperation, is it's much more harder. But we did that first. And that joint sales activity to reach out to our MNC now has been uh, taken to a new level on the wholesale side. So for us, uh, especially in terms of network reach uh, into their footprint, uh, we will definitely make use of uh, uh, the relationship of uh, VWS in these countries, uh, for example, into Pakistan or into uh, Russia. Uh, and uh, we believe that uh, with the local presence that they have, especially in the network side, it will help us to have the economies of sales scale uh, to reach and provide the right price and the right SLA to our clients. Mm. Yeah. Other particular services you're going to be focusing on, offering to the market? So Bas uh, basically, we are exploring all capabilities that mm. we have, right? We've started already very successfully, for example, the voice side. Yeah. Now we're looking really into the data side. You mentioned new products and services which are coming up. So what are your plans on the data center side? What do we have available? How can we pull yeah. these things together and make it available for our customers, for OTTs? Yeah, so there's lots of areas right. that we would like to explore. What about things like IoT? A lot of mobile operators are really worrying about getting global coverage on, on Internet of Things. Is that something you're looking at? Yeah, I, IoT obviously is a, is a big thing for us. We're also looking, looking into IoT at the moment. We have to understand our capabilities. We all know how complex uh, IoT and M2M can be with all the roaming agreements that, that are exist, existing there. So obviously mm -hmm. this is also an area that yeah. we are exploring, but where we are not finalized with, with everything that we would like to discover. Together. So you had a, quite a reasonably long relationship already, but this is yeah. now being formalized into this deal. Is it a deal? I would say it's uh, taking it to, uh, uh, to add more uh, ingredients onto it. You know, it's, it's not going to stop. I guess it, there will be more that we can uh, put on. So as what Carsten mentioned, there are 
these days, uh, when we invest on platforms, uh, we 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 look at each other and see where the uh, the areas of expertise, or shall I say, the center of excellence. So in this case, uh, they are making uh, some progress uh, on the IoT side, so we can uh, make use of their capabilities. And on our side, we are making a, a lot of progress on, let's say, the A to P. So we can also offer that platform on a collaborative approach. Uh, the the market. Uh, is very very disruptive and competitive, and I think uh, we need to find ways uh, where we can find you know trusted partners to work together to achieve the the tough market out there. Are you looking at uh, extensions of this partnership, um, new services or new relationships? Yeah, I think uh, just one area that we see is that uh, our demand for our internet companies uh, customers is growing. We have more than one hundred and thirty plus uh, OTT customers today. And we serve them in more than 20 countries uh, around the world, cities uh, around the world. Uh, and uh, this consists of uh, physical data center combined with network, with internet, with servers. Uh, we're looking forward for uh, working that with uh, Vion as well uh, in their footprint. As in some of their footprints, uh, GDPR or localization of the data becomes a, a, a must. For our clients, uh, we can bring that uh, to the table. So. These are new services that I think we can add on apart from the existing. The existing one is solid. We're growing that, uh, and I think it will just go to the next step as we progress along. Absolutely. Yeah. We have yeah. to walk before we run, right? You're right, Karsten. <laughs> I agree. Couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> Karsten Murphy, thank you very much for joining us on Capacity TV. Thank you very much for having us. It's thank a pleasure. you very much. It's a great pleasure.